Yeah, greetings, 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 yeah. Welcome to Florida, sunny Florida. I remember I always say I want my team. That's my team. My two sons. <laughs> Alright, but um, yeah, so I'm finally out of the house. I've finally bought myself enough gears to um you know shoot some tutorials outside. So um right now I am currently searching for the perfect spot. The perfect spot, you know, just to bring a little bit of Florida or uh, to bring a little bit of sun to all those people who are living in places like probably in like in the Netherlands and you know because I've been there and sometimes I know I remember when I went there um, it was nothing but rain and cold and you know so Zion guitar bringing some sunshine to you all virtually yeah man so um I'm somewhere in Florida we are reside so um yeah so let's see how this really ah uh, turns out yeah this is where we are sunny Florida there's a big lizard here I'm not sure if it's going to run, but I'm going to give you, let me see if I can let you guys see what it looks like. <laughs> it's one of the ladies, um, getting a bit windy, I hope you guys can still hear me. Um, the ladies' biggest nightmare right there. See that? <laughs> and trust my people, it's, it feels real good to be outside. Like real good, you know, because normally you guys see me in um in my room. Of course that's my bedroom. <laughs> you know, um, but um Florida, outside, sun, you know, getting that vitamin D. You know what I mean? So this is what it looks like. And my tea. Very peaceful, in all honesty. Um, you know, you can hear the birds. You know, you can hear almost everything. So I think this is going to be the spot right here. So, um, what is the one? No lame, no rats. <laughs> but yeah, uh, training them, teaching them, you know, teaching them. So let's see how this plays out. I'm gonna set up and um, see you guys soon. Hey, yo, what my beautiful people? Zen coming at you with another tutorial, another video, another whatever. And I'm out here in beautiful Florida sunshine place, you know, sending some virtual sunshine to you wherever you are. If you hear any form of noise going on in the background, <laughs> yeah, man, we got neighbors passing. That's right. <laughs> yeah, man. So, um, yeah, trying to get my head back together. Right, and um, yeah, we're back in, I'm on the outside. That's that noise right there. Shit, it's gonna start. Listen to this. Doesn't sound too appealing, right? That's simply because two of these strings are out of tune. Have you ever wondered how they used to tune their guitar back in the days without the help of a tuner? Because I mean, in this time, there is no valid reason for you to have a guitar that is not in tune. You can buy a tuner, a guitar tuner for as low as $5 on Amazon. You can pick up a second-hand one for as low as $2, depending on the seller. And, you know, if you're playing in a band, you can ask your keyboard player to play me, play your D, play your E, whatever, whatever string you feel is out of tune. And, you know, boom, you'll be good to go right now have you ever been in a situation where you don't have your tuner you misplace it somehow and it's just you and now you need to nail this gig and um, you're having a situation so now you need to tune it because you cannot sing with a guitar that is out of tune because it's going to sound awful and your people are going to walk out 
and you're going to lose money and probably you're never going to get a gig back at that place. No, you don't want that. Let me show you to tune your guitar without the help of a tuner, virtual tuner or whatever. Just you and your guitar. Let's go. It is important for you to know the strings of your guitar, right? And we're going to count. This is the first string. Remember that. All right. So you're going to count from up, down. All right. From thinner to thicker. So you're going to have a E, B, G, D, A, and the E. All right. So now remember, we're going to tune this by yourself. It's going to be just about us, you and your guitar. So the E string after E comes F. After F, F sharp. After F sharp comes G. After G comes G sharp. And after G sharp comes A. All right, so this is where we're going to be tuning from. It doesn't matter if this string is in E right now because now it's only you and not you and anybody else. So you want to make sure that everything is in tune. So let's say this is E and when you put your fingers there, that's going to be an A. Below is the A string. So you want this A to sound like this, which sounds the same. So this is how we're going to be tuning it. So. Sounds like it's in tune, all right? So now we're gonna move to, we're gonna jump over, put the pointer finger on that A string, fifth fret. That is supposed to be the D. And below, the string below is the D string, so. Aha, that is a string that is out of tune. So let's fix that one, all right? So we go, oh, yeah. So, like I said, it is always good to sing along, hum. So now you get, it becomes second nature. So you're gonna go, so now you're gonna concentrate on this. It's not so perfect, but we're there. Okay, so now we got that. So now you're gonna put the pointer finger up on, which is the fourth string, fifth fret. And of course you want it to sound like the next string. The next string, which is going to be G. So when you put the pointer finger there, that is a G, right? sounds like it's good or good enough let's put it that way all right because now we're not using a tuner we're using the ears all right so and that is good now when you get to that third string you're going to drop because that is just the way it is when it comes to the guitar so point a finger on the third string fourth fret is a b and the string below is a b and you listen Remember, you don't have to strike them too hard. And it sounds close enough, right? So, good. So now, when it gets to that B string, you wanna come back up to the fifth fret. And you want it to sound the same as the last string. Right, the last string and it should sound the same. All right, so you're gonna, string, you're gonna tune the last string of that, right? So. Sounds like it's a bit too low, right? So we're gonna search for it. And remember to find which string you're working it on. You follow the string and see where it leads to. And you're gonna use that knob, all right? So here we go. It is out. And again, it's always good to sing, hum along with it, all right? So you want this note for this string. So still out mm 
bit a bit sharper and that is perfect again not perfect but should be good enough so you're gonna test them now and then so That is how you tune your guitar by yourself. No grand piano, no keyboard, no nobody, just you and your string, all right? If there's anything that I could have done to make it easier, if there's a way that you guys know you can tune the guitar without using a tuner or whatever, share it, drop it down there in the comment section and let me know, share it with somebody, all right? My name is Zion. Remember to subscribe, remember to share, remember to hit the thumbs up button. Blessed love. I'm going to enjoy myself out here in this beautiful place. See you next time. One love. Walk good.